We are here to witness two very special people, Russell and Carrie, reaffirm their commitment to one another. Now, this is three years in the making. And ladies and gentlemen, we have the New York City Department of Education to thank for this year. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, if you are single and you are looking for somebody, maybe you might want to get a job at the DOE. Now, this love story began when Russell was apparently working on a project, and apparently Carrie was also assigned to it. Now, on the way up to Albany on a work trip, Carrie says that she discovered that Russell had a nerdy sense of humor. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think you do, Russell. Sorry. Now, apparently, after that project was completed, they kept in touch, and they decided to keep things professional. Now, this was until Russell kept leaving seltzer water on Carrie's desk. And Carrie told me that Russell kept stopping by her desk more and more. Even though the two didn't exactly want to admit it, they were actually into one another. And they worked together and wanted to, again, keep things professional, but their co-workers had sensed their attraction to one another. So apparently, unbeknownst to them, they all went out one day, and apparently the co-workers decided to conspire with one another and leave them alone. Hmm. I'm telling y'all, the DOE, they know what they're doing. Now, their first date was a very interesting one, folks. Carrie had just so happened to complete a work meeting in, the, in Brooklyn. And she reached out to Russell and said, hey, Russell, I'm in the neighborhood. Want to get a drink? Yeah, Carrie, you pulled the oh, I'm in the neighborhood line. I used that one once or twice. So apparently they went to a dive bar and something very interesting happened at the dive bar. Do you remember? Of course you remember. So apparently she was in her lovely suit and Russell was apparently dressed up in a soccer outfit because he had just completed soccer practice. And then a man on their first date walked up to them and said, hey, are y'all married? <laughs> Carrie quickly responded, yes. <laughs> Russell apparently didn't know what to do. He just stood there and smiled, but later thought, hmm. So apparently that guy, he prophesied what is happening today. So marriage is a partnership. It's a representation of your love. And when I asked both of you about marriage, Russell, you had said how you define marriage is marriage is something that involves two people coming together to support one another for a common goal. You look out for one another and that you put the relationship over everything else. And Gary, you had said that marriage was about having a friendship and listening to one another. It's a foundation of friendship, working together towards common goals. And in a marriage, you're going to have some funny moments, ah, like the one where apparently you guys love to set up furniture along the New York City Marathon, and apparently you guys like to hand out oranges and, mm, yeah, and apparently, I don't know if you guys know this or not too, but Russell likes to blow his train whistle. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that one either, folks. Now, I'm a big believer in the power of words. I speak happiness and love and success into your marriage. I look forward to watching both of you grow old together. Family and friends, if you are in agreement, just shout yes. 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 Well, at least we know they're all listening. <laughs>